Hello everybody, um, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I moved into my new apartment, sorry that's for the Americans, my new flat, on the 25th of April. It's now the 1st of May, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour. It's my front door, kitchen window, little bit of grass, little bit of dirt. <laughs> um, they've actually put a lot of grass seed in there so they're going to turn it back to grass. Which is a shame because I was hoping to plant some nasturtiums and things. So, let's go inside to my minimalist palace. It's a one bedroom flat. Now I will just say as we come in that the decor in this flat is not particularly pleasant. The wallpaper is not nice. Well, I don't like it anyway. It's not been put on very well, there's lots of joints, but the landlord has given me permission to completely redecorate everything, so that's great. I was a painter and decorator for 15 years, so <laughs> that's not going to be a problem. So we come in the door, it's an airing cupboard with the boiler for the hot water and some clothes that are just drying off in there. A little shelf underneath, it's got um, rucksacks, riding gloves, just my riding stuff. Electric heater and the bathroom small, it's compact, but it's absolutely exactly what I wanted. Um, as a minimalist I don't want big spaces because big spaces tend to fill up with stuff. Hey, that's a mirror, just in case you uh, didn't know. Uh, bathtub, little cupboard with um, bits and pieces, toilet wipes, um, anti-back wipes, shaver, all sorts of things. Dressing gown, uh, toilet, don't really need to see that or know much about that. Another little cupboard here under the sink with my razor and shaving stuff, body shop. Um, oops, I like to buy the body shop stuff because obviously the body shop doesn't test on animals or use animal ingredients. Having said that, of course, I have got th something like Colgate and stuff who do. So as soon as all that's run out, I will be getting more ethical products because I don't want to use anything that's not tested on animals anymore. There's no need to test on animals, so why the hell they do it? Sink, very simple. Little heater on the wall. So that's my bathroom. Absolutely perfect. Having a bath in there is wonderful. It's got a Sorry, it's got an eco bulb, so um, it's okay now, but when you switch it on, after it's been off for a while, it takes quite a while to come on, but that's great. I'm going to swap all the bulbs in here for eco bulbs. Now into the bedroom. And we have a double window that opens completely. There's the view. Outside there's other flats, a little bit. I've got grass, I'll show you that in a moment. So that's wonderful. It's really, really quiet here. I ha I've been here six days and haven't heard a peep out of anybody, so that's wonderful. Um, my bike is in my bedroom at the moment. There is a bike shed here that locks up, but um, the door locks, but there's nowhere to lock your bike to the wall or, or any fixtures. So I'm a little bit nervous about leaving my bike in a in a sh in a sort of bike building that lots and lots of people other people have got access to because you know you just never know don't want to go out one morning and um find that it's gone missing because my bike is a massive part of my life it's what's helping me get fit brings a lot of pleasure to my life uh, the old garmin on the top hopefully i'm going to get um i think it's the 510 quite soon because it's got maps on and stuff and I'm I'm in a fairly new place I'm new here in Thatcham I don't really know a great deal so I could do with maps on my bike so I did get lost the other day <laughs> trying to cycle into Newbury and there's my bed this is where all the action happens no no it really doesn't I'm kidding um, there's no lady in my life unfortunately so there is no action in this bed other than sleeping and Knowing me and knowing how odd I am and unpopular with the ladies, probably won't be any action here for quite a while. <laughs> uh, electric heater, it's, um, it's a gas heater plugged into the wall, I have it in here just in case um, it gets too cold but it's, it's warm enough in here. 
and I've got my beautiful, wonderful designer bedside table, which is basically an upside down cardboard box at the moment. As I said, I've only been here six days, so I'm I'm still collecting pieces, so that'll be replaced. Little lamp, and that's my bedroom. And I have to say again, the decor. This is all wallpaper. It's a kind of it doesn't really show up very well. It's a kind of beigey grey, it's not very nice. So I'll be stripping all the wallpaper off, painting everything, skirting boards, door frames, uh, ceilings. The ceilings are, I'm not sure if you can see, but they're actually shiny. I think that's, um, looks like they've painted the, uh, they've used silk paint on the ceilings, which is really, really horrible. If you use, if you use matte paint on your ceilings, it takes the ceilings kind of further away from you, so it makes the room look bigger. So that's the bedroom. It's neat and tidy. I'm a little bit obsessive about neatness and tidiness. The carpet's blue, which, you know, it's a bit of a shame because the rest of the flat has got this kind of light coloured beige carpet, um, which is fairly new, and then for some reason they've gone and put a blue one in there, so a bit odd, but it's a rental property, can't do anything about the carpet, so that's fine. It's not a problem. And into the living room. So we come into the living room, this is my little workstation um, where I, you know, surf the net, edit my YouTube videos. One of my favourite quotes by um, a man that has actually changed my life, Friedrich Nietzsche. If you want to read that properly, just pause the video and have a quick squeeze at what that says. I think that quote on the screen there pretty much sums me up and how I feel about life. So. If you want to know quite a lot about me, just pause the video for a few seconds and read that, and that is pretty much me. Uh, so yeah, my workstation. Then we've got this really nice. I re this this is actually what sold the flat to me. Got a window here, um, a window here, and then you've got this big wide door here. Um, let me just move these blinds and. Find my key, if you just bear with me for a second. It's all caught up in my key ring, oh, I don't believe it. So, we go out through the door. This is my own private little space here. Grass there. Window, door, living room, window. Bedroom window, a little bit of grass here and then out there. And I've got a bin shed and a bike shed. So this grass here is all my space. And uh, the great thing about this is that the sun comes up over there and it sets over there. And so this, all this grass here is basically a massive sun trap all day long. So I can sit out here with my book and cold drink and just enjoy the sun. Going back inside, my books. Those of you who've seen my videos on my books, you know how passionate I am as a minimalist. Um, it's not about, I don't think minimalism is about owning as little stuff as you can. I think it's about owning the things that are incredibly important to you. My books are everything to me. Um, they're such an important part of my life as somebody who writes. <laughs> you know, a writer has to be a good reader, I think, to be a good writer. So, my books, just love my books, absolutely love them got some very old books they're all by Byron along here some of them those two on the extreme left were published in the early 1800s so they're very very old some DVDs some blu-rays just been watching some uh, Tudors more stuff Byron the Viking Vikings love that TV series some blu-rays Das Boot, fantastic film, box set of Godfather, my television. And then we turn around here and you've got my sofa. And another fantastically expensive designer table. It's basically the empty cardboard box from my dinner set of plates. And then on to the thing that I love the most in this world, my writing desk. Um, 
just you know I spend pretty much most of my day either reading or writing and when I'm not reading or writing I'm on the internet the YouTube stuff and Facebook and Instagram so you know this is where I sit pretty much all day put the radio on to Radio 4 Extra, listen to dramas and plays and short stories the Coliseum <laughs> and the thing that I'm really passionate about, the thing that I love is I love writing with really good quality expensive fountain pens this is a Visconti fountain pen from Florence Visconti are in Florence and the fountain pen has a converter so that I can use bottled ink I always write with bottled ink it's my favourite brand of bottled ink so you can't, no it won't focus this is called Aurora Black love this ink, this is just wonderful I hate writing with uh, ballpoint pens and things like that so it's always a fountain pen always with bottled ink um, I've got a bucket chair which is incredibly comfortable now the thing about um, my bureau at the moment it's squashed in as you can see behind my sofa uh, I don't really like it there at the moment so I'm probably going to move it to my bedroom or to the other wall where my table with my laptop was um, as I said it, when I moved in it was just a case of putting stuff in places just to get my stuff in and then I'm gradually just moving things around to exactly where I want them so I go into the kitchen, I apologise for the noise that's my fridge uh, cooker and hob with my coffee pot another one of the possessions that I absolutely love I know a lot of vegans and a lot of healthy people don't drink coffee but I only have one of these pots a day and this pot only makes one and a half cups of those so it's actually not much coffee my food cupboard, I've got spices um, bean sprouts, mung beans, paprika, psyllium husk, cumin, cocoa um, carob up there baking uh, golden syrup down here sugar nice packet of my favorite biscuits uh, fantastic biscuits lotus biscoff they're suitable for vegans and vegetarians yes they are a little bit more fatty than I would usually eat but I don't eat them often they're just a little treat and I'm not going to stop eating treats because they're a little bit fatty Some more spices yeast onion powder garlic powder gravies uh, and then the bottom shelf is tea, chamomile, earl grey, yeast extract, one of my absolute favourite things. You will have seen a lot of this in my other videos. Put it on my potatoes, put it on my pasta, put it on my toast. And I've got uh, pasta and oats, pasta, spaghetti, pasta, rice here flour, I make all my own bread and some lentils in the back, I make all my own breads except the other day I had a tiger bread that I bought but shop bought bread is full of oil and full of salt so I don't bother with that glasses, bowls, plates, more bowls and just got very normal you know, kitchen things kettle, coffee grinder, toaster, cutlery there's my sink um, this is the view from my kitchen window which is out the front and then I've just got more cupboard space a lot of cupboard space, these cupboards haven't actually got anything in them I've got such, so few possessions that all of these cupboards that you see here are completely empty <laughs> I've got on top of my fridge freezer some scales and a cookworks rice cooker, it's an incredibly cheap rice cooker um, but it is absolutely fantastic rice cooker. You, you would look at that rice cooker and think it's too cheap to be decent, but it's brilliant. So there you go, there's my one bedroom flat slash apartment if you're in the States. As I said, it's I'm a minimalist, I don't own a great deal, I don't want to own a great deal. The things that I own are the things that are absolutely fundamental to my everyday life. I don't own any sort of bits and pieces or knickknacks or ornaments or you know stuff like that everything is just exactly what I need to live my life it's my router and my telephone down there so uh, yeah there's there's my one bedroom pad my minimalist palace in Thatcham
Berkshire, southeast of England. Thank you very much for watching. I'm pleased that you decided to spend some of your time with me. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, all the usual stuff. Um, I reply to everybody as much as I can, so thank you very much for joining me. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Vegan Minimalist Mark, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Okay, bye bye.